All right, we made it. It's a little chilly out this morning. Low 40s, probably gonna be colder when we get near the top of mountains, but I'm currently walking to the starting line and we're gonna do this thing. As long as I don't get hit by a car as I cross the road here. Thank you. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Dave Dillon. Good morning, Dave. All right, three, two, one, go. Have fun. Kick some ass. I can't be the first one to cross. So <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Hope the GoPro does it justice. Actually off the course right now, but uh, it's worth it. <laughs> we got all day, right? <laughs> Don't know what that is. Looks a little bit sketchy though. Huh. Private property. No trespassing. Don't worry, I won't. Oh, hey, yeah, buddy. Yeah, Rocky. buddy. We got the fireball. I know, we got the fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Avocado bacon wrap. Yeah, we do. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks for being I'll see out you here, on the man. Flip side. All right. Thank you. First trail food of the day. We've got bacon and avocado in a tortilla. This, this is delicious. Thank you, aid station people, for being out here today. I've gotten this far in and I haven't told you where we are today. Today we are running the Trail Animals Running Club Way Pack and Back, or Wa Pack and Back. Depends who you ask. This is a multi-distance race from 21 and a half miles to 43 miles, the 50 miler, and it takes place in the northern mid area, the north, mid north area of Massachusetts. Uh, right now we are about 10 miles into the race and it's been about two hours. So we're gonna see where the day takes us. Waypack trail, feeling pretty good so far. And uh, let's do it, let's do this thing. Last peak before the turnaround. Pretty good view out here today. Oh, here come those savages. Ah. Sup, Ben? <laughs> yeah, it is. That was the leader pack of the 21 and a half mile race. They just started about 20 minutes ago and they're already at the top of the mountain. <laughs> we are at mile 21 about five and a half hours into this thing. Not moving as quickly as I hoped, but this trail is super technical. This is probably where I trip and fall and kill myself. Stay tuned. Whoo, okay. We just crossed uh, mile 30. I've slowed down quite a bit, mainly because my right Achilles tendon is kind of hurting on more runnable terrain now. This kind of trail, which is way nicer than the northern mountains on this trail. Those are much more rugged. Uh, these trails are a lot easier to run and jog. So I'm making up a lot of time here. And I feel pretty good other than that Achilles tendon and my leg kind of barking at me a little bit. One feature I've been using a lot of on my Garmin Tactic 7 is Climb Pro. Hopefully you can see that. It basically shows you a graph of all of your climbs and descents and tells you how many climbs and descents you have left. So right now it says I have 16 descents left uh, or 16 out of 25 I've completed. And then when I start to climb uphill, it'll switch over to climb mode and tell me how many climbs are left, which is uh, super cool. 
really cool feature i've been kind of just leaving it on that that page on the watch because it's nice to glance at and that way i'm not constantly reminded how many miles are left to this race right now i'm rocking one bottle that has a high concentrate of electrolyte mix tailwind and then my other bottle is plain water so i can kind of dial in how much electrolytes i want i think at the beginning of this race i was having a little a little too much salt a little too much electrolytes because if you look closely at my hat you can see salt build up all over it it's very salty so it means i had a lot of excess salt in my system and even my aura ring feels a little bit tight right now from water retention so just trying to dial it in by mixing in more water Ooh, that's a pretty view look at that that is nice sometimes you gotta stop even though it's a race and take it in I see it, I see the finish line, it's right there. Ah. Oh. I'm staying at 43. Oh, come on, man. Oh, man. We're back in the car, the race is over. And I decided to drop down to the 43 mile distance because I just did not feel like going back out, back up over a mountain for that extra seven miles. Anyways, it was an awesome day in the woods with a, a ton of amazing people. I met a bunch of people. I got to run with a bunch of people for extended periods of time and learn all about them. And man, it just feels good to be racing again in person all right total stats were 43.23 miles in 12 hours and 20 minutes certainly not my fastest run i think back in 2018 i ran the same race in 11 hours and 40 minutes so i got a little bit slower but i'm a little, little bit older and i've got more kids now so i'll use that as an excuse okay i hope you enjoyed running with me today i hope you got something out of it and if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down below so you don't miss more videos like this in the future and i'm just realizing how salty my hat is that is that is disgusting. I'm, I'm sorry for that. Okay, time to go home now. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.